Every now and then, archaeologists come up with something that changes the course of human history. Sometimes it's a potential alien skeleton, and sometimes it's a 33-foot-long sea dragon. Rarely it turns out to be a completely preserved dinosaur egg. Here are the 20 biggest archaeological discoveries of this century. Number 20. Perfectly Preserved Dinosaur Embryo Many dinosaur bones have been eroded to the point that it, it's hard to identify them. However, archaeologists were incredibly lucky to find this, an embryo of a toothless theropod dinosaur that's been completely preserved in amber. The embryo was found in a curled position, also known as tucking, which is a behavior that's been observed in modern birds before they hatch. The Aviotaposaurus, which literally means egg thief lizards, were feathered dinos that lived between 100 million to 66 million years ago. The head paleontologist of the research team described it as one of the most stunning dinosaur fossils. The embryo, called the baby Yingliang, was found in Gangzhou in southern China. The discovery threw some light onto the assumption that the tucking position was exclusively to birds alone. Now we know that even non-dinosaur birds have the same type of pre-hatching behavior. Thanks to our 3D technology and advanced scanning techniques, researchers can create an image of its full skeleton even if the fossil is covered in rock. Number 19. Cave of Altamira Humans have always been emotional creatures with an affinity for art. The prehistoric painting found in the cave of Altamira in Spain just prove us right. The paintings in the cave were found by an amateur archaeologist and his daughter in 1879. Inside you can see paleolithic drawings made with charcoal and natural earth pigments. The beautiful paintings have drawings of bison, horses, deer and even aurochs, an extinct species of wild cattle. Scientists believe that these drawings were created between 14,000 and 18,500 years ago but a relevant study shows it could be up to 35,600 years old, right when humans were just starting to inhabit northern Europe. The discovery is simply astonishing and shows how far back humans have been involved in art. The original cave has been sealed off to preserve its archaeological importance, while an exact replica is provided to tourists that visit the historic site. Number 18. Terracotta Warriors it's not every day that archaeologists find something as unique as the terracotta warriors. In 1974, Chinese farmers came across a highly unsettling and perplexing site, a whole bunch of warrior statues made of terracotta. It included numerous clay warriors, chariots, and even horses. All of them had intricate handcrafted details. They had different uniforms and each had a unique facial features and hairstyles. What was their purpose? Well, to protect their emperor in the afterlife. But the warriors weren't all who were buried. Musicians and acrobats were buried with the late ruler too. Archaeologists think that the whole tomb, which is a 38 square mile area, is an extra replica of the city of Xi'an. It has a whole network of waterways and even topographical features such as mountains and hills. More research has been halted due to the fact that these faux rivers and streams were once filled with toxic mercury which explains why the content of the soil has an abnormally high mercury content. Such an elaborate project would definitely need all the hands they could find, and they sure did. More than 700,000 workers were believed to have been involved in the construction. Number 17. The remains of the largest sea dragon ever found in England Whether or not dragons exist today, there's proof that the sea dragons existed about 180 million years ago. This one was called an Ichthyosaur, and it was about 33 feet long, which was the largest to have been found in England's Midlands. However, this isn't the first fossil of the Ichthyosaur to be found in England, but it's the most recent discovery. These marine animals resembled dolphins and went extinct about 90 million years ago, which we're glad about. Just look at their size. Number 16. Tiny Alien even the tiniest tint of extraterrestrial life has always excited people. When a tiny skeleton was found in 2003, people were fast to jump to conclusions. The fossil had a pointed head and was found naturally mummified in the desert of Chile. Research showed that its bone density qualities implied it belonged to a six-year-old. They also found out that this specific individual had about seven different mutations and one of them could easily have caused the pointed head. Eventually, one of them also became the cause of its death. Number 15. Rosetta Stone 
Paper hasn't always been as readily available as it is now. In fact, in 1799, a group of French soldiers came across what would become one of the most famous artifacts in history, the Rosetta Stone. The ancient slab of stone was carved back in 196 BC, but that's not the most interesting part. The stone has inscribed on it not one but three scripts, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, Egyptian Demotic scripts, and even ancient Greek. Moreover, all of it was translated in 1822, which not only helped revive interest in the ancient Egyptian language, but also the lost culture of the place. The stone is sectioned into three parts, with the top and middle text being in ancient Egyptian, while the bottom is in ancient Greek. Although the stone is believed to be much larger than what was discovered, the piece is 112.3 centimeters high, 75.7 centimeters wide, and 28.4 centimeters thick, and is made of granodorite rock. Number 14. Lucy Homo sapiens were the only species that managed to make it this far. Our ancestors weren't as lucky as we are, but finding their fossils helps us understand a lot more about ourselves. Take this skeleton for example, which belongs to the hominid species Australopithecus afarensis. 40% of the bones seem to belong to a family of species that happened to live about 3.2 million years ago. The scientists named her Lucy, and much like us, she walks on two legs and used her arms just like Homo sapiens. This was a huge discovery since it showed us that human ancestors could walk upright and had bigger brains before the earliest stone tools were discovered. Lucy's skeleton is only 40% complete, but it's enough to prove that she had a bigger brain than ours and a similar gait. It was also established she was about three and a half feet tall. Number 13. Mummified Dinosaur it's not every day that a worker finds a perfectly intact specimen of a dinosaur that's been preserved over 110 million years. But a faithful day in 2011 was one of those days. Paleontologists usually discover parts of a dinosaur bones or such and then use it as a guideline to guess how real dinosaurs might have looked. But this one had skin and even other soft tissue preserved so well that the bones were difficult to look at. The notosaur had its flesh and even a scaly skin present on its 18 feet long body. After about 7,000 hours of delicately uncovering the specimen, what the paleontologist found was all worth it. The color of the skin showed that despite its size, it used to camouflage away from other predators. Number 12. Dragon Man Scientists in China discovered a skull so similar to ours that it could be the closest known related species to the Homo sapiens. It's not clear when this dragon man appeared, but the skull itself dates back to about 309,000 and 138,000 years ago. The skull was found soon after the Japanese invaded northeast China in the early 1930s. A team of locals was out building a bridge when they stumbled upon the nearly complete human skull with an elongated cranium from which a heavy brow bone protruded. The skull belongs to a new human species known as the Homo longi, or Dragon Man. Number 11. Antikythera Mechanism Perhaps one of the weirdest and most interesting things humans have come across is the Antikythera mechanism. In 1900, sponge divers discovered a 2,000-year-old shipwreck off the Greek island of Antikythera. No one cared about this piece of junk up until about 1950 when a science historian, Derek J, took a special interest in it. He described it as an ancient Greek computer and later found out that it could have been an astronomical calculator. It's about the size of a shoebox and packed with a complete system of gears, cranks, and two dials that could correspond to the display of the sun, moon, and planets. Even researchers aren't sure why such a complicated device was needed to track the cycles of the celestial bodies, but it could be more of a novelty than a necessity. After all, the Greeks were way ahead of their time. Number 10. The Hidden Palace of Ramses II In March of 2019, a New York team announced the Temple of Ramses II that they'd found in the Egyptian city of Abydos could actually be his own personal palace. The stone walkway led to an adjoining building that revealed a secret royal palace. This find was purely accidental and had numerous cartouches of Ramses. This inadvertent but significant discovery will help determine how the royal pharaohs lived and spent much of their lives. It was recorded that Ramses the Great had over 200 wives, 93 sons, and 60 daughters. 
This could only suggest that he was very powerful and influential during his time. Number 9. Germany's 10 million year old teeth. Two 9.7 million year old teeth were found in Germany. Even though they aren't human, it's an exciting discovery since they're 4 million years older than Lucy, the skeleton, and belong to another subspecies of ancient humans. National Geographic states that these teeth may belong to an extinct hominid species that would explain the transitional periods when humans emerged and left behind their ape-like features. It could also explain where much of this transition took place. Most archaeologists and historians think humans emerged from Africa, but these teeth could change our perspective on that and even suggest that mankind originated in Europe. Number 8. Pompeii One of the biggest tragedies of the past was Pompeii, and the fact that it's still relevant to pop culture, despite only being a recent discovery, makes it all the more astonishing. In 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted and engulfed the whole city of Pompeii. Unfortunately, this unpredictable eruption left the citizens no time to flee. They all died during the event and left the dead city in a cloud of volcanic glass, debris, and a layer of pumice stone and ash which was about 19 to 23 meters deep. Luckily, this kept the whole city and its remains preserved for very long. To this day, it's an incredibly popular tourist attraction. After all, a tragedy that's not your own is one worth looking at. Number 7. King Tut's Tomb Despite being a king, Tutankhamun didn't live the best life. In fact, the young king came to power when he was just 9 and died when he was only 18. His unexpected death was precisely why his tomb was crafted in such a hurry. Microbes detected on his tomb suggest the paint on it wasn't even dry when it was sealed. When two researchers entered his tomb, they found an incredible array of gold-covered couches carved into shapes of exotic animals. This tomb is unique because it was found relatively intact after being reportedly built for the young king in 1327 BC. The tomb also contained approximately 3,500 artifacts comprising of things Tutankhamun would use in his daily life, such as jewelry, cosmetics, incense, furniture, toys, various materials, chariots, and weapons. These treasures were so crucial to the world of archaeology that the researchers went so far as making up a myth that whoever entered the tomb of King Tut would suffer from the dead pharaoh's curse. Although this did scare the general public, many archaeologists completely discarded it. Number 6. The Library of Ashanurbanipal Researchers are ever grieving about the loss of the Library of Alexandria, but the well-preserved Library of Ashanurbanipal is one of the things that they can be happy about. It's known as the most precious source of historical material in the world. In the 1850s, archaeologists uncovered a whole pile of clay tablets that had a text from the 7th century. These books, or better yet tablets, had a huge plethora of historical text, administrative and legal documents, even medical treatises, and literary works from ancient cultures. It's not just a few tablets too, it's a collection of over 30,000 of them. It's a goldmine for historical nerds. The 2600 year old library was found in the ruins of a Syrian city of Nineveh, present day Iraq. Nineveh was conquered in 612 with its libraries looted and buildings destroyed. Therefore, when archaeologists found the library, they found broken and entire tablets and wax wooden writing boards deep in the floors of the palace. Number 5. Staffordshire Hoard In 2009, a regular man came across the best thing anyone could imagine, treasure. He was using a metal detector and came across the largest Anglo-Saxon treasure hoard that's ever been discovered. When archaeologists examined the site, they recovered more than 3,500 items that were made of gold and silver. The hoard consisted of golden sword pommels, crosses, gold jewelry with garnets, and other stones. It took a team of 30 experts and three years to clean, conserve, conserve, and study the treasure. Most of the items were more martial in nature or had something to do with warfare. In fact, none of them had anything to do with domestic goods such as cups or silverware. This meant that the hoard might just have been a collection of valuable gifts given to a king. Number 4. Troy When it comes to archaeological sites and wars, researchers thoroughly examine the mentioned locations for any remains. 
However, when it comes to Troy, Homer's Iliad did such a great job at describing the Trojan War. Scholars can't seem to decide whether it even existed or not. If it did, it took place in what most people now call the ancient city of Troy. In the early 19th century, an archaeologist named Heinrich Schneemann popularized the idea of unearthed treasures belonging to the king that ruled Troy at the time of the war. Though the rumors about this being the site of war aren't confirmed, it's true that his palace was inhabited for thousands of years, and where there are humans, there's conflict. Number 3. Madaba Map we might have Google Maps now, but back in the day, which happens to be 1884, there were maps made out of the most beautiful objects. Though it was found in 1884, it was originally made in the 6th century. Take a look at the oldest surviving map of the Holy Land, mostly Jerusalem. It's part of the floor mosaic in the Byzantine Church of St. George in Jordan. Unfortunately, most of the mosaic map was destroyed when it was first uncovered. It depicted the Middle East all the way from Syria to Central Egypt, but the only part that remained was Jerusalem and its six gates, 21 towers and other buildings in it. Madaba itself was conquered by the Sasian Empire in 1614, and they lost some of their figural motifs in the mosaic in the 8th century. Number 2. Atsi the Iceman one of the biggest discoveries made in this century was the mummy of Atsi. The glacier mummy was found in the Italian Alps and is believed to have lived over 5,000 years ago. Atsi had an unfortunate death as an arrow struck him in the shoulder and affected an artery. It also suffered a blow to the head during the attack. This man probably had a peaceful life and lived as a shepherd, spending his days herding sheep, cows, and even goats. Mostly, it's his death that scientists are most interested in. He suffered from rhinositis, gallstones, whipworm, and the injuries mentioned earlier, yet he lived up to the ripe age of 46. Before moving on to our last pick, let us know which of these sites you'd want to see in real life, and let us know if we missed out on any important archaeological finds. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Forever Green, and hit that bell icon for more. Number 1. Vonic Manuscripts An antique dealer came across something that he immediately knew was special. During a trade in 1912, he came across the Vonic Manuscript, a book which no one could read. It consists of 250 pages of mysterious images that range from female nudes, zodiac signs, and even drawings of medicinal plants that seem to be imaginary. Researchers believe that the book is about 600 years old and most likely to be written in an unknown Asian language. If there's anything people love, it's guessing, which is why this archaeological find has been the center of many conspiracy theories. This book is so mysterious, scientists have now looked to artificial intelligence with the hope of getting some sort of meaning from the text. But that too proved futile. So if you think you can help decipher the content of this manuscript, head on to Yale University in the United States and tell them the guys from Forever Green sent you to help solve one of the greatest mysteries in human history. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope to see you in the next one.